Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, thank you uh, for watching uh, my videos. So today it will be the first time I'll be talking about a supplement that's not a peptide, not a semaglutide. Uh, supplement meaning, uh, you know, some kind of pill form. Uh, so in the summer of 2024, I started uh, diving deeper into supplements and peptides. Uh, as I began my uh, health transformation, uh, going back uh, regularly to the gym, uh, biking, running, uh, I realized that I needed more energy to do these things. I know that uh, going to the gym gives me energy, but here's a problem. To go to the gym, I also need energy. So it's like a vicious cycle. So anything that could help me boost my energy really got me curious. I started listening to uh, podcasts and uh, YouTube, uh, people like uh, Huberman, uh, Peter Atia, and some other ones. Uh, on one, one of my bike rides to work, I was listening to Huberman's podcast, uh, where he was talking about NAD and NMN. Uh, and he was discuss discussing them in the context of uh, longevity and energy. And that caught my attention. So... I decided to dig, uh, dig a little deeper. Uh, before I go any further, let's quickly refresh our biology, just, just enough to understand how this stuff actually works. We're made up of uh, uh, 40 trillion cells. Inside each of those cells are mitochondria, which are the powerhouse of the cells. Uh, mitochondria produces ATP, uh, which is a molecule, uh, it's the energy currency of the body. Another way of, think, of thinking of uh, ATP, it's like a battery that powers everything. Everything, I mean, really everything from thinking to uh, lifting weights. Uh, so now there are three molecules we're going to be talking about today. It's NAD, NMN, and NR. All of them are connected in the energy production. Uh, let's start with the main one. NAD or nicotinamide adenine denucleotide. Uh, I'm not gonna, uh, you know, repeat these again, but uh, um, NAD is the easiest word to use. NAD is a coenzyme found in every living cell. It's essential for production of ATP. NAD shuttles electrons during the process that converts nutrients into energy. Without NAD, there is no ATP. Without ATP, there is no life. Your body makes NAD using precursors, uh, which are building blocks. Uh, NAD doesn't come directly from food. One of those precursors is NMN. So that's the second molecule we'll be talking about. Or another uh, NA, NMN is... Uh, nicotinamide mononucleotide it's made from uh, vitamin b3 uh, which is another word for niacin it can be found in very tiny amounts in foods like broccoli avocado edamame and cabbage and then there is nr which is the last molecule we'll be talking about or nicotinamide riboside it converts into NMN inside the body, uh, which then uh, becomes NAD. It's found in trace amounts in cow's milk and yeast-containing foods, but also, like I said, it's in very little amounts. So why does all this matter? I mean, why are we here? Uh, because when I heard uh, Huberman mention longevity and energy, this the energy part immediately caught my attention, because as we age, our bodies produce less NAD, which means less ATP, which again means less energy because ATP stands for energy. Uh, this decline starts in our late 20s and early 30s, and by our 40s and 50s, it becomes very noticeable. Uh, we have slow recovery, we have less stamina, we're more fatigued, tired. Uh, there's a long list of reasons why this happens, but we'll have to save that for some other episodes. Uh, so the question is, what can we do to support our mitochondrial health? 
and to keep our NAD levels up. So there are four things that make the difference. The first thing is resistant training, which just means lifting weights at least three hours per week. And this helps stimulate mitochondrial production. Second is uh, caloric restriction. So just eating less and eating smarter, it can boost uh, NAD production and improve mitochondrial health. Third, uh, which a lot of people maybe don't realize, it's good sleep. Mitochondrial repair and uh, detox uh, happens during your deep sleep. And the fourth is uh, supplements, uh, specifically using compounds that support NAD production. Uh, and even though most people already probably know about the first three things, it's the fourth part that most people don't know much about, is how do you actually use something to get more energy? Uh, are we talking about drugs, uh, you know, magic potions, supplements? Uh, so there are a few things. Uh, there's NAD plus injections, uh, which deliver NAD directly into your bloodstreams. Uh, this is actually a vial of NAD plus. NAD plus uh, you can do in IV form, intermuscular form, or subcutaneous form. IV is the most expensive and time-consuming. IM, which is intermuscular, can be painful. And subcutaneous, or sub-Q, is the easiest form of injection. I've done intermuscular and subcutaneous, and I prefer sub-Q just because it's simple and it's really painless because you just spin it right into your fat. Uh, the effects from NAD Plus are real, but they're short term. So usually they last uh, two to three days. And this is, is not something most people are going to be doing because you have to find a doctor or a clinic that does this. Uh, in the United States, there's not a lot of places they do this. Or if you're a part of a biohacking world. So, you know, most people are not part of it and, you know, they're looking for something simple. Uh, this is just not something you can go ahead and go and pick up at Walgreens. I myself usually run NAD injection cycles for a period of time, like four to six weeks. Uh, during those four to six weeks, I inject myself two to three times per week. And this is done for uh, every few months. Do I feel like a huge difference when I do this? Honestly, no. But I do know that it supports uh, long-term health. Now, uh, let's talk about oral supplements, which are more accessible and which most of you can use. I looked into NR versus NMN. Those are the two precursors that come, you know, that make NAD. And I chose NMN. Why? Uh, because NR must first be converted into NMN and then uh, converted to NAD. And the man skips that first step. So it's more of like a direct precursor. Early human studies have shown that M NMN uh, improves glucose tolerance, mitochondrial uh, function, and insulin sensitivity better than NR. Uh, there were concerns that NMN molecules were just too large to enter the cells, but those concerns were mostly resolved after the discovery of NMN-specific transporter proteins that basically uh, shuttle NMN across the cell membranes. So I chose NMN uh, supplement, uh, basically, you know, something like this in a, in a pill form, or, um, capsules. And uh, let me tell you, it really worked for me. After listening to the podcast and doing my own research, I wanted to buy NMN immediately. But I couldn't find it anywhere in the United States. Why? Because in the late 2022, the FDA reclassified NMN as a substance being investigated as a drug. In March of 2023, it was pulled from Amazon and pulled from the store shelves. It wasn't banned but it was no longer easy to find. I finally got my hands on it during my uh, trip to Ukraine. It was a Japanese brand of NMN, a great quality. When I got back, 
I first uh, tried it uh, before my gym session. I took it in the morning, and at noon I went to a gym, and it was incredible. Uh, I increased the weight of every exercise I did that day by 10 to 15%. It wasn't like taking caffeine or some kind of stimulant where you feel like a rush. Uh, it's, it was more like I have more in a tank today. I could do more reps. I could lift heavier. The same thing happened uh, when I went biking and running. I just could go further and longer. It was the very first supplement I've taken that gave me a real noticeable uh, performance boost. After a few weeks uh, of using NMN myself, I gave my second bottle to my mom. She's 72 years old and she still works part-time as a nurse at ICU. Uh, and she tells me that some days she has zero energy after her eight-hour shifts. Uh, and I tell her every time that a 30-year-old struggles to recover after a full shift at ICU. And it's time to retire. But she rolls her eyes at me and tells me that she'll retire after Ukraine wins the war. So she started taking NMN, uh, about half of my dose, and absolutely loved it. Uh, on her days off... She likes to walk for exercise. And before she started taking NMN, she'd usually walk about a mile, mile and a half a day. After trying NMN, she went up to uh, three miles per day. She told me that she felt more energetic. Uh, the effects of NMN seem to last about two to three months. Uh, and during that time, your NAD production improves and your mitochondria begins to function better. Then it levels off. So I usually take a break for one, two months in between the cycles. So take NMN for one, two months, take a couple months off. And again, I've recommended uh, NMN to my friends, and some of them felt what I felt, and some didn't. And I think the people uh, who didn't feel the benefits or didn't feel them the way I did uh, fall in uh, two groups. Uh, group one... Uh, those are already doing everything right. So they sleep right, they go to the gym regularly, and they diet, they eat well. Uh, so their NAD level are probably already optimal, and they're likely getting the benefit. They just don't feel like the way I did. Group two, uh, those expecting a magic pill. NMN is not it. NMN isn't a stimulant, and it won't, uh, you won't feel like running to the gym the minute you take it. But if you're already somewhat active, you'll feel the difference in performance and endurance. Uh, NMN is now available again in the United States, though not on the marketplaces like Amazon. In November of 2024, the FDA paused enforcement and reclassification, meaning NMN can still be sold while uh, it reviews a petition by Natural Products Association. And a final decision is expected sometimes in the summer of 2025. So you can buy NMN directly uh, from supplement websites. I'll link uh, to the ones I used in the description below. So I've tried both pill and sublingual form. I didn't notice much of a difference. But sublingual might be a better for initial absorption because it goes directly into your bloodstream versus going into uh, uh, your, through your GI tract. But uh, you know, I usually use uh, right now Nutricost uh, NMN and uh, uh, the one I tried for uh, 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 sublingual is uh, uh, Revue uh, Pure NMN. Um, now. My, my mitochondria are in good shape thanks to NMN and some peptides I've used. I don't feel that extra boost anymore, which I kind of miss it. Uh, but I know it's a good thing. It means my energy uh, system is working optimally. And now I'm just focused on main maintaining it. Uh, and I hope that this video helped you, uh, especially if you're looking for a way to boost your energy. So thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, give me a like, and always support Ukraine. Peace out. Bye.